Hey everyone, it's Talia and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I'd do a chatty get ready with me. I was actually going to do a tutorial of like some eye look, I don't know, that I just made up in my head. I say tutorial very lightly because obviously I'm not professional. But I just thought I've got some new products I wanted to try out so why not do a chatty get ready with me because that's what we're doing, getting ready. So as always, if you like the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more, and let's get into it. So, I'm just going to be starting off with, of course, some MAC Prep and Pride. You know what? My skin has been doing a lot better recently. Yeah, so my skin's been doing so much better recently, because I suffer from eczema really badly, like, on my arms, like, on like, the back of my neck. Have a little bit on my neck, because if you can see it. It's nothing bad. I'll go through phases where like I've like a big red patch get underneath my eyes. But recently it's been really good on my face. Like obviously my arms have caught it a little bit, but all in all it's been pretty good. And to be fair, I'd actually probably say it's because of this, because since I've been using this, it has been like really tamed and enjoyable for me. Highly recommend if you have dry skin. Right, so the first new thing I'm actually using today is the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. Because Superdrug are actually doing e.l.f. now. I don't know how long they've done it for, but I just went shopping the other day and they had e.l.f. So I thought, let's just, oh, give it a try. It's like a milky colour. So I'm just gonna pop that. I think I've put too much onto the back of my hand. But can you ever be too primed? I don't think so. Oh, it feels exactly like my L'Oreal one. I think this was like seven pounds as well. Now the next new thing I'm using is the Kiko Universal Fit Hydrating Foundation. I'm using a lot of hydrating things, aren't I? You can tell it's a struggle. In the shade WB15. I have no idea what that means. But why is it come with like instructions? Interesting. It's warm beige. Old WB warm beige gear. So let's just try this. I did actually buy this because I wanted to do a full face using Kiko makeup, but I decided against it. Oh, it's quite um, watery. And I'm actually going to be taking this like toothbrushy brush. Now I have actually used this before, and I didn't really get on with it. So, oh, you will see what happens. I really don't like this brush. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. So I don't actually know where this video is going to go up because I've been having a little bit of like... I don't really know what my uploading schedule is. Because at the start, when I firstly started YouTube, like a month and a half ago, not even that, like a month and a bit ago, I was doing every Wednesday and every Sunday but then I just felt like I was running out of video ideas so quickly and I don't really want to put out a video that I'm not feeling. I want to put out stuff that I know that I'm going to enjoy but I just don't know. I uploaded last Wednesday so I'm not too sure. I think I'm definitely going to do Sundays but if I have an extra video to film then I might pick up on Wednesdays but I don't think that I'm going to hold myself against it and like have to get out a video on every Wednesday just because I don't really see there's a point of doing it. But also can we just say I've hit fi over 500 views on my, what was it, my Rimmel contour stick review and I'm honestly so happy. It happened last night and me and Luke was like texting like it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen and we were just like waiting for it. And I know that like to a lot of people 500 views isn't a lot, like people get millions, thousands but for me like I've only been on YouTube for over, just a little bit over a month and to be honest I'm really proud of myself. I don't care if it sounds like I'm being like cocky or whatever but I am. But on a serious note I am really grateful for everyone who's like subscribed because I have also got over 80 subscribers it's a proud moment I'm actually really liking this foundation I don't know if you guys can see it literally matches my neck so well it's a little bit lighter than my arms because you know bronzed from my holiday <laughs> but it's not a high coverage so if that is what you look at I am a burp so if you are looking for a high coverage foundation and obviously this one isn't for you but if you do have dry skin I definitely say to 
put this on your shopping list. So now I'm going in my usual concealers, the Rimmel Wake Me Up and the Collection in shade number two. So I've been thinking that I hate my bedroom. <laughs> pretty much i don't know i've just been feeling like because when obviously i wasn't too bothered before youtube but i hate the color of my walls i can't why are they brown <laughs> obviously some people would like it but for me personally i'm more of like a cool toned sleek kind of gal so i've been thinking that i'd really love to reorganize my room but i do have a pretty small bedroom so I went to Ikea yesterday as well with Luke and we just went and had like a little look around and we came to the conclusion that I need to get rid of my wood. I need to get rid of my wardrobe. I need to get rid of my wardrobe. It honestly just overtakes my bedroom so. But I've come to the conclusion that it's gotta go. And I also would like to get a new desk because I do have one now and it's perfect, like it does what it needs to do. I don't really like all my makeup being out and displayed on my desk, like I have obviously those acrylic drawers that everyone used to have. But I'm not really feeling it anymore. I feel like I just really want to tidy up my room, like it looks very cluttered. I have dance awards, I have makeup, I have pictures, I have perfume. I'd really just like it all to be like in a drawer. And I don't know why you guys even probably don't even care about this, but I'm telling you anyway. <laughs> Um, but I'm thinking as well, because I won't be doing this until at least after Christmas, because everything's a little bit hectic right now. So I think I'd also like make probably like a series out of it on my channel, like redecorating my room, just setting my under eyes and the places that I highlighted with my NYX translucent powder. Now I'm going in with my Rimmel Insta Duo contour stick, but just on the contour side, because we all know how I feel about the other side. How are you guys? I feel like I never actually ask how you guys are. How summer? I mean, I say summer again, very likely, because where is the sun? It's definitely more like autumn in England right now. And it's just cloudy and rainy in August. Why? Right, now I'm going in my Bronze Goddess by Estee Lauder. I'm just gonna lightly put that on my face. To make me look more tanned because the tan is quite been home for like two months now and like I'm shocked that my tan is fading. I was contouring with my sleek palette thingy that I rediscovered a few videos back and I absolutely love it. I'm just gonna show you guys like my normal makeup routine. Like I'm not going out anywhere fancy so but i do actually need some new eyelashes so if anyone has any eyelash recommendations then please do let me know oh my god so yesterday me and luke went to home bargains and our nearest one is about 40 minutes away so you know it's not close luke drove bless him 40 minutes to take me to home bargains because people were saying how they were selling pinky goat lashes which are like really good lashes which are normally like I think $9.99 and they were selling for $1.99 and I was like hold up Luke we gotta go got there did they have them no they did not this is a new purchase it's the L'Oreal Paris brow gel pomade pomade like pomade is definitely not it now that I'm saying it out loud <laughs> pomade I believe this is it says 103 but it just comes like a really cute little like thingy. Oh my god it goes on upside down. I feel like I should probably brush my eyebrows before we start this. I'm just not talented at makeup if we haven't already realised. Like I put tutorials out there like I know what I'm doing but I don't. <laughs> this is a really good colour match. This video is just a mess. I can already tell. Oh, I'm liking this. I feel like it looks very natural. I mean there's a dark patch right underneath so I'll fix that in a minute. Oh, oh my god. You know when you keep your eyes open for too long and they start to water. <laughs> it's a little bit clumpy. I think I'm just using too much though. I don't know. Put it down to the user. Whoopsies. I'm impressed. I don't know how many times I need to say that, but I am. Anyway, I'm going in to do my eyes now with the Violet Boss Holy Grail palette. And I'm just taking the colour Transition mixed with a little bit of Thanks a Latte. I love the names in this palette, it's amazing. Oh my god, guys, I'm so excited for... Oh, 
I can't talk and there's a spider on my ceiling. Great. I am so excited for Christmas. It's August and I'm already ready for Christmas. I'm taking Bestie mixed with Are You Kidding Me? These names, I love them. I'm just going to darken up the crease and the outer V. I'm taking brownie points. I'm just putting this on the outer area of my eye just to darken it more. Again, of course. I might take a little bit there as well. Let's put some of that on. Also, my mum asked me to do her makeup the other day and I was actually like, um, yeah, sure. If you really want me to, but it was really cute. She was like, contour me. <laughs> she actually wants me in a video, so. Now I'm going to my Modern Renaissance palette and I'm taking Vermeer. Oh my God, let's talk about subculture. Now, I don't have subculture. You guys know how much I love Modern Renaissance and it's like the sister palette, but oh boy. I don't think it's the fact that it's super powdery, which is the problem. Because Modern Renaissance is like, don't get me wrong, it, when I first got it, I was like, oh damn, that's powdery. I just think it's the fact that the blendability isn't there, and coming from Anastasia Beverly Hills, like, that is a top end brand, like, they do some amazing products. I just think it's the fact that because they're consistently giving us all good products and nothing to complain about, I feel like because they've had one bad thing, everyone's like, lost their shiz. There's always going to be bad products. So who really gives a damn? I did tweet that I really wanted it and then a couple of weeks later when I saw the reviews I was like actually, don't worry, I take it back. Now we've got new products. Well, it's new for me but it's been out for a hot minute. Like, how long has it actually been out? Let me check. I think it's been out for a few months. It's the Miss Baby Roll Mega Volume. Oh, this is waterproof. I didn't know that I picked up the waterproof version. <laughs> um, it's the L'Oreal Baby roll mascara which is what I was trying to say I'm not someone who just wears mascara on its own because my lashes are like they go down not up <laughs> so I have a trusty eyelash curler so I'm going to put it on and put lashes over the top because I can't live without my lashes what I also want to do add it onto my list of stuff that I want to get done to myself I want to get um, a lash lift so I don't really actually know what it does. One of my friends has actually just had it done and it looks so good. But they basically just permanently curl your lashes. Not permanently, semi-permanently. Come on, curl. One more time on each side of them. Ah! Oh! I just pinched my eye. Oh my God, I was watching through my first video <laughs> on YouTube today. And barely one that had been on YouTube for very long and I was actually watching it like, oh my god, this is so cringy. Especially my first makeup tutorial. Oh my god, my prom makeup. Ugh. Give this a go. I don't like the noise it's making. Why is it like scratching? I mean, it's good, don't get me wrong, but it's not giving me much length. It's, I'd say this is more of a volumizing mascara. Does it say volume? Yeah, mega volume. There you go. I'd say it's pretty decent, you know. Makes my bottom lashes look nice because those are about as long as my top. <laughs> oh, struggle. Okay, I like it on my bottom lashes and that's all that really matters because I wear fake eyelashes anyway. So I'm just going to... Oh, I've lost my tweezers. <laughs> I find it so hard to put on lashes without tweezers. Right, let's give this a shot. Oh god. How do people do this? How? That is so far away from my eye. <laughs> as long as you tell yourself it's okay, it will be okay because I got it on. I think I might do a makeup hacks video. That is such like a common YouTube video though, isn't it? Because I have actually seen a hack where people like cut their lashes in half or in three and it makes them stay on better especially on the inner corner apparently if you want to see that make sure you give this video a thumbs up so i do know that you guys want to see that i just poke myself in the eye you literally just touch my eyeball <laughs> i've done it they're on i look like me now i feel like i don't look like myself unless i've got a pair of lashes on so this is new i know it for a fact because it had a blue new sticker next to it when i bought it this is the L'Oreal, it's the Lip Paint Lacquer, 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 in the shade 101. Yeah, let's just get to it, I think. This is really weird how it's like a squeezy tube though, I could literally squeeze that. 
This brush, it has like a ledge on it. I really like this colour. I went out the lines. Oh, my eyes watering. I really like this lipstick. It's very moisturised and I have very dry lips. So, yeah, I'm a fan. I, obviously, I don't think it's going to have any staying power. Like, it is creamy. If you eat, it will come off. So guys, it's the end of the video and I hope you all enjoyed it. As I said, this is just my everyday go-to look, neutral eyes, neutral lips. Nothing too fancy, but still looks alright, at least I think. <laughs> Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe down below because we, are, guys, we are honestly so close to 100 subscribers and I'm so excited. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye.